even with the two best players in baseball, expectations are pretty low for them this year. Angels come into Boston. Things are going quite well for them early on. High fly ball driven deep. That's way up there to the monster seats. It is gone and a grand slam. And he's walked another man. He's just off today. Otani to the plate, and it's the elusive catcher's interference. Protecting there, and that should be catcher's interference. It is. But then Rendon grounds out to end the inning, and the luck turns around. And there's a hit in the left field, and a nice start. Kike on to begin the eighth. Runner on at first, and nobody out indicates a bunt got a piece of it. And that one is hit into left field, driving back Ward onto the warning track, runs it down. Against the and wall. This is a really nice swing. Oh, we got catcher's interference. The call on the field was catcher's interference. Los Angeles is challenging the call. Yeah. Look at this. See that glove? Yeah. And he's going to be awarded first base. Second one we've had in the game. Catcher's interference usually occurs when the batter hits the catcher's mitt during a swing batter is awarded first base. There are a few intricacies to the rule, such as the defensive manager getting to choose whether to take a default penalty or the result of the play. For instance, on a home run, you take the home run, obviously, ignore the interference. Remember, batters can stand anywhere in the batter's box, and the catcher can scoot back because the catcher's box extends a full eight feet behind the back point of home plate. As for calling it live, it's usually done by sound. You hear two sounds, one for the ball hitting the bat or the mitt, but before that happens, the bat makes a sound when it contacts the catcher's mitt. Listen. Protecting there. That quick double sound is what the umpire uses to call this. Anyway, Angels challenged. How'd it go? After review, the call to field is confirmed. We do have catcher's interference. Los Angeles loses the challenge. Try to hold up and he struck out. This is a weird one because the umpire does the strike three called mechanic, but it wasn't in the zone. It was a swing. Below the knee. That's on the swing. Anyway, on to the next batter where nothing weird will happen. One and one. We and there's another one. Another catcher's interference. That's going to load the bases. This is amazing. You could go three months without seeing one of these. We've seen him three times in this game. Yeah, and you can hear this one. Look at that. That's a bad one. Otani on the other side. But... Wow. Wow. Ground ball base hit through the hole. In to score Kike. Here comes Tapio with his wheels. He scores easily. And the Red Sox take the lead. You... But wait, there's more. Now a pitcher violation here. So that's going to be ball one. And that drills him. And that will load up the bases. Anything else going on in this inning? <laughs> Around and and that's going to walk in a run. Here comes McGuire to touch the plate. It's a bear just gesture to that dugout like I'm done. But wait, there's more. Soft bouncer up the first base line, trickling along the line. Luke grabs it, tags McGuire, and drops the ball. He's safe. A run scores.